looking at comparing and ordering numbers up to a million. So have a look here. You can pause to read the success criteria and have a look at our key vocabulary if you like. And the most important thing is making sure that we're looking at our place value columns. Notice that one million has seven place value columns if you look at the number here. That's really helpful. Right, in order to compare numbers, what do we need to know? Well, we do need to know place value, but we also need to know the value of each digit, okay? So you can pause here and try to do the value of each digit in the numbers above. And I'm going to do them with you. So for the first number, the first two is worth 20,000. For the second number, that's worth 3,000. And you don't have to put the commas after the numbers if you don't want to, no big deal. Eight is worth 800. The seven is worth 70. And the two, the last two, is worth two. Okay, and you can call that two units as well if you'd like, whatever makes sense for you. Now, we know our place value, now we know the value of each digit, okay? Let's do that with the second number. So the first two is worth 20,000 again. The nine is worth 9,000. The eight is worth 800. The seven is worth 70. And the two is worth two. So if I asked you to tell me how you know that one number is larger than the other, you could tell me that in the second number here, we have a nine in the thousands column, and we have a three in the thousands column of the other number. Therefore, this number here, 29,872, is larger because of the fact that it's got a nine in the thousands column where the other number has a three, and all of the other numbers are the same. Here we have a part whole model. Um, what is the value of the whole? Remember that part whole model is this part added to this part makes the whole, which is up here. So if we add them together, we would end up with 2,570. Okay. And so the question would be, can you suggest any other parts to make the whole? Feel free to give those a try. Here we have a story. So can you write a story to support the part whole model you made in the last slide? So here we have a story. I have to divide a secondary school up for assemblies. There are 2,570 students in this school, and I can fit a maximum of 2,000 people into the main auditorium. So here's my one group here of 2,000 in the main auditorium. How many groupings will I need and how many will be in each group? So I need two groups. 2,000 can be in one, 570 can be in another. That's a part whole model story. You can pause here to give fluency a try if you like. And here you'll find the reasoning and problem solving for today. Good luck.